first for a record? Um, I was like 12. 12, 13. I was 12 when we recorded in the studio when I was 13. You remember the first song? Yeah. Um, <laughs> me, it was me, Brandon, my cousin, and Skrilla. He went back to, I think, Carolina or whatever. He was with well, LCB now but when he was down here. But like, they was like my big cousins or whatever. And you had all them. It was like you had them rapping. They dancing and all that. I'm there young. I'm around that. You know what I'm saying? So I fell in it too. I did everything Brandon did, really. So I was doing it in behind the scenes though. Nobody knew I was writing these songs. I was listening. I remember listening to uh, Thug Holiday, um, all of that stuff like that. I had it on a tape in a room or whatever. I had it on the tape. I used to keep it somewhere where they couldn't get it. But um, they walked in on the writing the verse. And, uh, they liked it. Put me on the song. And I remember they like it was yesterday too. It was crazy. I know a little bit of the verse, but. <laughs> what did you put yeah. down on? Did you put it down on like YouTube? No, no, no. We didn't, we didn't put it out on them. It, it, was, it went on um, BWP, it was the Bros with Promotion back then. They uh, they had people like. Um, that was back when Bruce Aaron and was Soldier, Soldier J. You had the Dilemmas. There was um, Alvin Ray and them. They was they was part of BW. I don't know if they was part of the, they was affiliated with them. That's the people we would probably know this around this age group. Everybody knew Alvin and them back in like middle school or whatever. Um, it was a lot of people, but I think they back then, you know, they they was moving CDs and shit like that. So they used to do their own thing. I was just the young book. You know, I was like like Jacoby, that's that's the studio we recorded it. He was they were just excited that it was like a young dude up in there like that, but I wasn't a part of them. I was just on the song with Brandon and them. That's how it was. But it went from there. And so people around the city that reacted to it and made you want to keep going? Or it was songs after that? Uh it was actually when I started hanging with PJ and them. Like me and PJ and them, we been you know, we family or whatever. We always known each other or whatever, but when I actually start hanging with them, that's when it went to another level. Cause it's like, he he like the, the music man, like the real music man. I'm, I just rap and damn, but he do the beats. It's different when you hang around somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you hang around people like PJ, he take you up many ways. You know what I'm saying? Like back when Toto was rapping, before he was singing. And he a dog now, you know what I'm saying? And it's like PJ and them just being around them just changed a lot, you know, because I was bouncing around, which was to do, and start hanging with them all the time, performing. Tano, all we did was talent show was dancing like crazy or whatever. People say I was at school, school dances, text hot TMS or whatever. But um, we we had a lot of stuff going. That's what kept me. It was it was it was crew, cause it, everybody was doing something. You know what I'm saying? It was just like that. So when the first time y'all put out like a tape or something together? Um, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say we never put out a tape because we people weren't doing mixtapes back then. We this go back like this go back a mixtape. A mixtape was 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 bigger than what it is now. Yeah. When it meant something like a Lil Wayne mixtape, when we that was when Boosie first dropped, when you heard Distant Lover mm -hmm. and all stuff like that or whatever. Really yeah, yeah. When when it was all of that stuff right there, you couldn't just get on MySpace, nigga. <laughs> couldn't get on MySpace and upload a motherfucking mixtape. You could probably put some songs in there. You got good connections. Motherfuckers gonna hear it. You know what I'm saying? That, it was like around that time. Like so, we never did like. No mixtapes and all that or whatever, but we oh we did all bunch of songs together and we were just dropping them as singles, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it went from there. So about so how many years was that before the booming? Oh, that was shit. <laughs> booming came out in 2013. 13. By the time I graduated, that? by the time I graduated, I think on the side was I hit like was it? No, 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 it was freaking you. What the fuck? Uh, booming later. Yeah. I know this shit way, this shit, that's what people don't understand. This shit came way before boom. When Main came out, hit it with the Main. Willie, huh? Willie B and Savage B, when hit it with the Main came out, that was 
I think if if the DJ actually they didn't know us. Those DJs, Holly Grove and them, Sarge knew us, but he went down here or whatever. But I feel like if people would actually drop their song, they would be fucking surprised. <laughs> Cause before, like that's it's like that shit prepared me for booming. If people see me in the club when booming come on, I ain't like, oh shit, they live to my shit. I'm either, you know what I'm saying, getting it with them or nigga, I'm used to this. Cause we seen this shit before in Rose Hill. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers in Arkansas knew us. This is when Arkansas didn't even, it wasn't no fucking with each other, but you know what I'm saying? It was dying down, but it was still there at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because people in my class used to get down with some people, and, you know, stuff like it. But it was dying down. You know what I'm saying? So it was like the man hit it with the man was the really like the first one. They just was like, oh shit, nigga, we we been doing songs before then though. This when radio play came in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when we met J Dub, R.I.P. J Dub. Like he had brought us in his studio and we and had the vision first, you know what I'm saying? And that how it went how it went. He passed away or whatever. And we was already feeling it with Sarge. You know what I'm saying? We was dancing for Sarge. So y'all He y'all seen it too. Y'all was doing the music too? Oh yeah. Dancing came that's what brought us together, I think. I think dancing brought us all together because we was in a dance group and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But we all did music. P- when PJ started doing them beats, I was like, okay, shit, we got something. You know what I'm saying? Fucking around, it was sound recording. Motherfuckers really think they know about recording on some old shit. It was sound recording. We was clicking the fucking button as soon as you get to the uh, record. I think, well, I think it was record because the people didn't know if you click it again, it extend. <laughs> But the shit, if you listen to the whole song after you say the motherfucker, you can hear that fucking click. <laughs> <laughs> For real, the shit was real. It, it goes back, bro. We was doing this shit. So y'all was performing and everything, doing all. Yeah, that. yeah. You we used to it. It was dope. Talent shows was that was big. Like we was the one shit trying to see what's popping. That's how we met. I like. I wouldn't say a lot of talent shows is the reason why we met a lot of people like in LA and Arkansas. It was just shit, it was party. Yeah, the party, huh? Shit, we heard about a motherfucking party over in LA. We ain't got no car. Nigga, we used to walk. <laughs> living, young niggas, man, just living, live, everywhere. That's just what it was. People say they knew it was live. You know what I'm saying? It's all they didn't know, it was just. Everybody that hung with us, we was all with the same shit. We lie on that music shit. So, um, coming up on Boom, you were just in the studio. Yeah. Recording and recording. Um, before Booming, I know it was on the side. I can't remember if on the side I came out my senior year or right in 2010, 2011. But on the side was one of the ones. They took me and PJ, like, we was, we was still YFT or whatever, but just on some, the one that got a buzz for both of us, you know what I'm saying? They're on the side. I think that's when we performed Young Nation. I think, yeah, that was our first time performing Young Nation. Where was that at? In Old Washington, Arkansas. That shit was live. That shit was live as fuck. And what, people didn't, what other people didn't understand, we, we knew something, you know what I'm saying, from the night, because... Um, when we perform, what the fuck? What all did we do before we did on the side? We did a lot of songs. PJ had Keisha Cole. Um, I know we did Mank or whatever. No, I don't think I forgot what the fuck we did. But when on the side came the fuck on, when I tell you, Nick, we had microphones in the crowd. You know what I mean? Oh, you can test the count. We down in the fucking country. Live. You know what I'm saying? Live in the motherfucker, man. And then Young Nation came on after us. The beginning was rocking or whatever. But we knew, nigga, this sh- we just leveled the shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this hoe was just live. We They just got it. They just came out because they the main niggas. You know what I'm saying? But we supposed to be getting that shit, too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit was, and shit, we kept working. 
Did y'all ever talk to them again after that or anything? Nation. I performed with them after I was all booming. Yeah. In Mount Pleasant. They knew booming? Like Mount Pleasant? Nah. Oh, Mount Pleasant, yeah. They booked me. Bustin' Young Nation. We all got paid that night. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Not to, and we seen the shit the night before. Mm-hmm. With the performance before. You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit live, man. It's real. It's love out there. People, people rock with their hot shit. So, you know, you was getting... Like some buzz and some notice out there. Do you think that because social media wasn't that strong, it played an effect on as far as the song went? On um, which one? Boom. Boom. Man, I think Boom was like one of them. Uh, I can't really explain them motherfucker because they'll tell you like the night I did it, I did, I didn't really like the shit. I, Cause, but I don't really be on too much live shit. Like when I listen to music, when I'm sitting around, the house, I don't listen to live shit all the time. But I knew the shit was, you know what I'm saying, jamming or whatever. But you look out there in the fucking out, out the glass, you see PJ and Sarge and them. You know, they like, yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Like, okay, bet. So, like the next day, I think I think it was the very next day, nigga. Cause of uh, PJ and Sarge and Jay. Uh, Sergeant B, little brother, they they went back. They producers, nigga. That's what they do. They went back and hmm, put some spice on that motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, saw so shit to me the next day. I heard this shit, nigga. Like, I played that bitch about five times, like back to back or whatever. Shit, I was like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? But as far as other shit, a lot of this shit on Sarge, because he, he in the DJ thing. He already got a relationship with motherfuckers. That's why it's, this is why it's best for motherfuckers to have a relationship. It's all-